Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So the fifth generation iPad named as the iPad Air has finally been released. In this video we will do a comparison between the iPad 4 which was the fourth generation iPad versus the iPad Air which is the newest fifth generation iPad. So let's dive into some details. Now just to be clear iPad 4 has been discontinued so they're not selling the iPad 4 anymore. So this video is geared for people who already have an iPad 4 and perhaps are thinking of making a move towards the iPad Air. So first, let's take a look at the price. Now it's not quite relevant to give out the price of the iPad 4, which is in fact discontinued like we said, but prices do carry over. Where the iPad Air will sell for $499 for the 16 gigabytes of Wi-Fi model, and uh, $599 for the 32 gigabytes Wi-Fi model. And you also have the 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes model uh, available for $699 and $799 respectively. You also get a cellular version of the iPad Air. Just add $129 on top of the Wi-Fi model to whatever, whatever uh, storage option you want to buy. Now let's move on to the weight and dimension. Now there has been a change here. iPad 4 weighs 662 grams, whereas the iPad Air weighs only 469 grams. That is quite a significant change in my opinion, even though we're only talking about a bunch of grams. Now next we have the following dimensions on the iPad Air. It's 9.4 inches long, 6.6 .6 inches wide, and 0 0.29 inches thick. Whereas the iPad 4 is 9.5 inches long, 7.3 inches wide, and 0 0.37 inches thick. As it is clear by these numbers, the size and the weight have gone down with the iPad Air, which is always a plus. Now we also get an overall refresh on the design. So the iPad Air has the same form factor of the iPad Mini, which has been on the market for a while. So it's a blowed up version of the iPad mini that we already have on the market. Next, let's take a look at the processor, memory and the graphics. So the iPad Air apparently gets a major upgrade, which is not evident just by looking at the specs, which are for the iPad Air, a 64-bit dual-core A7 chip clocked at 1.4 GHz with 1 GB of DDR3 RAM and IMG's PowerVR G6430 graphics processing unit, which is the GPU. The iPad 4 shipped with a 32-bit A6X processor, which is also dual-core, clocked at 1.4 GHz as well with 1 GB of DDR RAM and PowerVR SGX543 graphics processing unit. Now I will show you some benchmarks at the end of this video to demonstrate what kind of performance increase the iPad Air got with this new 64-bit A7 chip. Next I want to take a look at the camera. So the cameras on both of these iPads are the same. Okay, so the rear camera is 5 megapixels and it is able to record at 1080p, which is high def. Now, whereas the front camera on both iPads are also the same with 1.2 megapixels uh, for pictures and 720p HD video. The battery life for both iPad Air and iPad 4 is advertised as up to 10 hours. And owning them both, I can tell you that is exactly what you will get. The battery capacity on the iPad 4 is 11,560 milliamp hours. The iPad Air is listed as 32.4 watt hours. This is a different unit of measurement than milliamp hours, but basically you will be getting up to 10 hours on both without any problems. Now the cellular models get up to 9 hours of uptime with generous use. Now another big thing is the display. Again we have the same exact specs here. There's no change. So both displays are 9.7 inches and they come with a whopping resolution of 2048 by 1536 pixels which brings the pixels per inch to 264 ppi. So from what we can tell by outlining these specs is the real difference is in terms of weight and dimensions and the processing power. 
everything else seems to be the same like the screen size and the screen resolution and the battery life and such things and there's a couple final things I want to talk about like the connectors on the iPads both iPads come with the lightning connector now the iPad Air does not come in gold color nor does it come with a touch ID sensor like the iPhone 5s so those two things uh, which some people were expecting is not going to be there so finally let's go ahead and launch the Geekbench benchmarking tool which is going to measure the processor and the memory performance and see which one is faster so before we start let's go to the multitasking view make sure nothing is running in the background okay so we do have clean slates on both so I'm going to launch the Geekbench test on both of these devices uh, Geekbench go to the menu and we're going to click run and we're going to see what the results are we turn off the lights so we can see this more clearly okay so the iPad Air is done let's wait for the iPad uh, 4 to be done as well okay so the iPad 4 is done as well so as you can see by looking at these results the performance has almost doubled on the iPad Air so we've got a single core performance of 1479 and the iPad 4 is 781 so that is almost a double number then with the multi-core performance we have 1424 on the iPad uh, 4 and we've got 2681 on the iPad Air so it is uh, it is as Apple has announced there there has been a uh, double in performance on the processor and the memory and uh, that's the end of this video alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time and if you have any questions, comments, concerns just throw them down in the comments section below.